Yo, what's going on guys? Demo Jake here. Uh, this is gonna be one of my weirdest videos. I'm very optimistic to make this. It's gonna be very fun for me. Uh, it's also gonna be very fun for the people who don't know anything about the Switch Comp. So basically I'm gonna try and explain it um, the best I can, but also the quickest possible. I'm gonna try and not name many people. Um, if ever you think I cross the line when I'm talking about someone, it's because I don't like them. Um, honestly, I, I really do not care. Like, if, if you get mad, it's not my problem. I'm, I'm just here to have fun, you know? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I don't even know what I'm gonna put in the background, but this is gonna be extremely fun for me. Uh, get some stuff on my chest, uh, present myself and stuff. So, first of all, the, the Switch Com, it's the most toxic place that you can have in the Fortnite Com in general. Like, if you're from wages, creative, etc., I do not care where you're from, the Switch Com is the worst. Like, the, the average Switch Com person is around 8 to 10, because it's a Nintendo, you know? So, like, th there's been no comp events. So the only thing that they'll talk about is bragging rights. They, they don't even have the age to be able to get money, you know? So like, I'm gonna have to put like a you know account. So this is a complete freestyle, so I'd, <laughs> what am I talking about? But most people who are gonna watch this, they already know who I am and how by text I talk, so I'm, I prefer just talking about the Switch and then talking about myself. So the Switch comment is just full of either random kids, but then you have the people that are famous Either because they randomly got into Alga, I'm not gonna put any names in this, people are gonna get way too mad. Or you have people that um, got into tournaments like in Kiwis tournaments. So, um, yeah, when you're part of those people, you're either gonna have like all of the kids behind yourself. Like when there's someone that wins a Kiwis tournament, it's automatically the best Switch player no matter what. And you'll have this huge mass of children behind them and whatever you say about them if it's not good you'll just die online and you'll have a ton of fake people that'll just appear and leave all around you so what i'm trying to do i, I mean honestly like, no, no ego you know no ego I, I think that i'm in the top 10 one uh, i think that i'm in the top 100 biggest nintendo switch content creators like in how do i say in uh, total supporters you know like i think i have i think i have around 3k total and yeah i think that that's top 100 easily so there's the big three i'm gonna call those um eric mz uh Kothgap and uh Zena. so i'm not gonna talk about um atomic because he's he's out of that like he's like he's like a father for me that, of what am I? Oh my. So basically, you have Eric MZ that's like miles ahead of everyone. Like, he, he is the top Nintendo Switch Fortnite creator. Well, he doesn't really do that anymore. I don't even know what he's doing right now. Then you got Cough Cap and Zenza there on. Yeah, they're on just complete grind every single day. Over 100k subs, just fighting for number one spot in EU all the time. Um, yeah, so those people made it. I have no clue how Zenzo made it. Honestly, if you watch this, I doubt you will anyways. I'm not that, that famous, so I try to keep it like, like as no ego as possible, but still trying to be honest. Like, I, I know that I have right it. <laughs> so, so, I don't understand how this man blew up because he just had this hand cam. From my point of view, of course, from what I know and what I've seen, he just had this hand cam that just decided to blow up that was really old. It's still blowing up, by the way, like it's getting millions of views every month now and then. It's in your recommended, like every like 10 times am I recommended and I've already watched it. So then you have Kothcap, he, he, he's really good with content, like he grinds grinds. He's been working, I have nothing to say about the man, he's crazy. Um. So then talking about EU, etc, like the the rivalry that you have between EU and NA East is just crazy. Like you'll have stereotypes. It's it's close to, to racism, honestly. Getting out of the idea of West because they're just clowns, honestly. But, no, not from my, not not from my words. Like everyone just disrespects West. If you're West, announce which I'm sorry, but it's just the case, you know. Australia, they're just out of the question. Asia, all right, all right. I need to stay respectful. It's. 99% of the Switch players in Asia are, why do I say Asia? They're, they're from Japan, right? So, so they have close to 0 and 20 ping and they all play the same on motion. They edit with 
what is it with L1? It, it makes no sense. You will never see them anywhere except from Twitter where their entire feed is just retweeting stuff. And they will just edit and edit and edit. You will not see a single person game training or doing whatever. That just drives me mad. Like, no, what, what, what I think that I excel at is aiming. You know, like if you watch my videos, like I love aiming, aim training, etc. I just love doing that. The, I think that the only three such players that are in Asia servers to which I have respect. Crab, that, that's the man. Then you have Tail, that's a crazy gun player. Then you have North, it's just one of probably the biggest player from that server. Um, so moving on, you have like these entire things like EU against NA East when you have EU players playing over NA East and just every single tourney it's this wins this. I know exactly in the comments in my DMs, in the servers, there's gonna be people being like, oh, demo, what are you on about? No, what is this? Yeah, no, no, it, it doesn't matter what you're in, honestly. Like, if you can just grow and make money. So talking about growing and making money, honestly, apart from Zanzer and Kothcap, I'm not seeing much improvement in the EU camp, apart from myself, all right. Apart from myself, I mean, I'm quite, I'm quite proud of what I've done. For the, for the moment, you know. Um, then you have people that, that grind. I'm, I really want to talk badly about this person, but I will not because it, it's a true grinder. But like this man spends 40 hours a week on school weeks playing, just editing and editing and editing. And this man has never hit alg. Just so random. He's the fastest switch editor. Like there is no doubt in my mind when I say that. Talking about not hitting alg. Tetra, I doubt you'll see this. We're like eight minutes in the video right now. Tetra, if you see this, <laughs> I'm sorry. If you look at this man's channel, he'll have, if the vid is over one day old, this man's videos, he'll have between 1k and 3k views. There is no more, no less. It will always be that. This man uploads, like, it feels like 50 times a day, but he does not hit out a single time. It really blesses my soul. To, to see that I'm lucky enough to not be like that. I'm really sad for him though because he, he should blow up honestly, he's one of the best switch players. Then you got Rubix, that's the exact opposite. He, he's like top three fastest switch editors. This man uploads once every 50 years, but he gets Elg every single time. Like I feel like on my timeline, when he posts every single time, it's every single day he'll have one extra thousand subs, you know? It's, it's just crazy. What else do I have to say? Um, the, the, the teams in the Switch comments are insane. Like, I, I have a list of them. I'm not gonna go find it because I think it's huge. The, the amount of random Switch teams that I just... Honestly, like, when I see some, I'm like, what even is this? Like, this will go nowhere. I'm gonna get so much hate after this. It, it's just... A, a Switch team is never gonna go that far unless you actually put the effort in it. Like, I just see some stuff that, that just die. It, it's just the... The management in some teams, like honestly, the, the best management that I've seen, uh, just to name a few, uh, Nova, Grief, uh, Entity, uh, Vapor, uh, and of course the, the best, yeah, the num numero uno, it's man, so those are crazy. Like there's been contracts, paid plays, etc. Like the first switch org, I don't, I don't care what you call it, it's an org in my heart. Those people are going crazy. That's the first dog that I grinded for. I made like uh, exactly 63 videos for them until I got banned. Um, all right, we're not gonna talk about how that happened. It's really the best team. Like at a certain point, the roster was 100 people and no doubt in mind was there one person who did not deserve to be on there. Uh, so I'm still grinding for them on the side of Devour, if you didn't know. I might have my chances actually this time because last time I had under 500 subs. I think that now I tripled that, so that's kind of cool. I wanna thank you a lot. If, if you're still here, first of all, you're amazing person. I hope that you, you understood what's going on as a Switch com. Honestly, it's mostly people that are recording um, with their phones, not really knowing what they're doing, uh, call themselves com players when all they do is sit in a bunch in arena like Logan Gray. Sorry, it had to be said. It's, it's just people calling themselves things and then they get versed against uh, and from a player from another platform and they just are fully clueless. Like, it's, it's insane to me how 
how much egos they can have. Like, they can have more egos than people that are assigned to Hogs when all they do is win a random tourney with like a $20 Nintendo eShop card on the line, you know? It, it, just do not go there unless you actually have supporters. Like, honestly, if I did not have any supporters right now and I'm really grateful for it, I'd just leave the calm, honestly. But with the support I have, it's just crazy how I could just be up here and be... I, I have respect from a couple of people, you know? Like, I, I just... I really don't want to talk like I have an ego or something. I'm just laughing doing this. Honestly, I think that f from the inside of our RC, this is probably the scariest thing that I've had to do. Honestly, anything else, I don't really mind, but doing this, I honestly did not have any other ideas than to explain the switch Um I did not want this to be scripted at all, so I just decided to go for a, th for a freestyle. They said uh, it should be around two minutes, so I'm gonna make this way over. I want this to be a whole podcast. I said that I was gonna stop these, but why not stop them again, you know? So. This is my um, energetic uh, response for the Devourer RC. I have very hard outs about me making it through after this because this is nearly 15 minutes long. Good God. Uh, if you've watched this to the end, thank you so much. Um, I, I hope that I didn't scare you away from the Swisscom because some people are actually nice. Like, if you need me to guide you through it, just, just hit a DM, you know. So anyways, that was my vision of the Switchcom. I, I mean, there's going to be a couple holes here and there, but I've basically explained it. Uh, anyways, I hope that you enjoyed. Thanks. Goodbye.